good day to all of you all you women out of there starting a new week remember that you are loved with an everlasting love this is your pastor Yeti. I hope that a weekend went fine even for some maybe you had to work because that is really over the years practice a normal thing that people have to work also on Sundays and so but anyway and this is your pastor Yeti and today we're gonna start a new week with a woman of the Bible and her name is Rahab and we're gonna talk about an unconventional hero and then our first day with her is the turning point but before we hop in there I will read you the scriptures where we as of this week will stay in Joshua in Matthew in James and Hebrew Hebrews so then Joshua son of Nun secretly sent two spies from Shittim go look over the land he said especially Jericho so they went and entered the house of a prostitute named Rahab and stayed there the king of Jericho was told look some of the Israelites have come here tonight to spy out the land so the coining of Jericho sent this message to Rahab bring out the man who came to you and entered your house because they have come to spy out the whole land. But the woman had taken the two men and hidden them. She said, yes, the man came to me, but I did not know where they had come from. At dusk, when it was time to close the city gate, they left. I don't know which way they went, Go after them quickly. You may catch up with them. But she had taken them up to the roof and hidden them under the stalks of flax she had laid out on the roof. So the men set out in pursuit of the spies on the road that leads to the forts of Jordan. And as soon as the pursuers had gone out, the gate was shut we're taking a leap in time from the story of Leah and Rachel God changes Jacob's name in Israel in Genesis 32 verses 22 to 32 good advice read the story and you find this in the Old Testament as he moves his family to Egypt about 400 years later all of Israel Israel's lineages are enslaved there God chooses Moses to lead more than 600,000 Israelite Israelites to the promised land he has chosen for them after God leads the Israelites out of Egypt, they wander in the desert for 40 years. This is where Rahab comes into the picture. It is time for the Israelites to claim the land God promised them. Their first stop is Jericho, Rahab's city. Rahab is an astute woman. She is prostitute and an innkeeper and her professions enable her to be privy or privy to information from all over when Joshua's spies arrive 
Rahab senses that something very big is about to transpire. She has to decide quickly how to react. God chooses Rahab, a woman who is courageous, bold, savvy, trusting, and proactive to play a key role in his plan. Her choices lead to her becoming a hero, a person of action and fate, and many years later, kin to Jesus. So our first point, as I already read the scripture, is the first day in the turning point with our Rahab. Joshua, who became the leader of the Israelites upon Moses' death, sends two spies to infiltrate Jericho. They find themselves at Rahab's inn, and Rahab is probably used to encountering visitors from outside Jericho. But in her conversation with the Israelites, she likely senses that God is in their words, rather than turn the spies over to the king. She takes them to her rooftop and hides them. She knows hiding these men means risking that. The king of Jericho learns the men are staying with Rahab and demands she turns them over. But she doesn't. Instead, she demonstrates great bravery and creates an elaborated plan to help these strangers who spoke of God. The Lord has chosen Rahab, an ordinary woman, to carry out his will, and Rahab's faith grows as she risks her life to be closer to God who was growing in her heart. Our reflection for today is, as a woman who operates an inn, Rahab likely enjoyed rare independence for her time. She had had a lot to lose by hiding the spies. What do you think made it worth to risk to her? The risk to her. And then the other, Rahab is a woman with humble origins. What does her becoming an unlikely hero tell us about who God calls to serve him? Do you consider yourself to be an unlikely hero? And why? As we go back in the Second World War, we see how many Christians, Catholics, other denominations were hiding Jewish families to protect them from the Nazis. So we don't have to go back that many, many, many times in the times of Rahab. But we see also there an historical fact that those families risked their own lives to hide the Jewish people. So how do we ref reflect on our own personal life? in the 21st century where as you feel that God is clear to you what to do with a certain situation how brave you are what did you thought that you had to do to protect so this is our first day I encourage you to Read again the scripture verses and make notes. So take this with you on another week, our fourth week of our Bible study for Christian. And I say it again for every woman who points her finger to open this podcast. So may God bless you and protect you. May he keep you from all harm. And may his light shine upon you and give you peace. May the Holy Spirit unfold what's deep in your heart, your desires of your heart, his wisdom, 
and guidance of her wisdom as Ruach is feminine. Anyway, God bless you. This is your Pastor Yadi. Bye-bye.